My name is Juan Hernandez, I'm 14 years old, I go to LPS Richmond, and this is my education. Well, my friends view me as one of, like an Einstein, sort of, like I'm considered like, like the genius in my school, that happens a lot. You usually have one genius at your school. In class, once we're doing some classwork and no one gets it, they're like, Juan, and everyone just sells that one. Yeah. For Juan, good grades have always come easy. Él es bien buen estudiante y le gusta mucho, mucho la escuela. Y sus maestros siempre están bien contentos con él. Um, todos siempre dicen um, que lo hace bien. At the college prep charter high school he attends in Richmond, California, Juan is able to keep a 4.0 grade point average without much effort. He's the big fish in the little pond. There's sometimes hard like when we introduce new concepts, but once you get into them, they're very easy to understand. But I don't really feel that I'm there that hard. So why should anyone worry about Juan's future? Juan, very bright, very intelligent young man. But when he gets to college, having a lack of exposure to AP class at his own high school, and then coming to a school like a Stanford or another UC, uh, or UC where majority of students he is competing with in his freshman year in those quote unquote weirder courses, where most of them have had AP physics, AP calculus, and someone like one with this potential and drive could get discouraged. My school offers AP English, history, and Spanish, but no AP in science or math. I wish I did because science and math are my favorite subjects, so it kind of sucks not to be able to be seriously challenged in one of those two subjects. So Juan took the extra step and enrolled in the SMASH program. SMASH stands for Summer Math and Science Honors Academy. It's a five-week enrichment program that's held on the campuses of UC Berkeley and Stanford. SMASH scholars, as they're called, come back every summer during their high school years. They get SAT prep support, college counseling, and financial aid workshops to make sure they stay on course. The overarching goal of SMASH um, is to increase the number of underrepresented students of color who not only go to college but persist and graduate with a degree in the STEM field. We learned much more advanced uh, versions of the subjects we were going to study at school, such as computer programming and algebra 2, and how to create a program to solve HIV and how it spreads in biology. Uh, in this class, the students are um, taking elements of mathematics and biology and seeing how um, mathematics can help us to understand systems of biology. Specifically right now, we're looking at um, dynamics of the HIV AIDS epidemic and um, how we can use mathematics to both understand that epidemic and also inform possible treatment ideas to um, try to uh, eventually eliminate the epidemic. Juan lives in a modest house in Richmond with his mom, dad, and three younger siblings. My dad works in construction and my mom is a stay-at-home mom. Yeah, I would be the first person to go to college if I do get into college because my dad got some high school education. My mom only got to um, middle school and from there she had to go back home to help out with the family. Por ser Latino hay muchas oportunidades como becas y todas esas cosas que quieren que los Latinos uh, pienso que tienen las mismas uh, oportunidades por como es él, porque él tiene muchas ganas de, de estudiar. When I grow up I either want to be a surgeon or a physicist. A surgeon because I want to help people and because I find the field interesting and a physicist because I had physics in my freshman year and my teacher gave me all these physics books and I really liked them and I just want to help contribute to the whole physics um, subject. Juan has a laser focus on what he wants to accomplish but as confident and ambitious as he is his own peers have sown seeds of doubt. Actually one of my friends um, because we were talking in class and we were talking about what we wanted to be when we grew up and he was like you couldn't make it because you're a first generation um, college goer. And yeah. Some other people in my school, like that, also other people in my school, have told me that too. And it's sad because it's like that school is focused on college a lot. And then just to hear that from people who are going to go to college is really sad. Over 30% of students, regardless of socioeconomic background, have an interest in pursuing a STEM career. For students of color, that number drops to less than 10% after the first two years of college. And for someone like Juan and other first generation low income students of color, the number is even significantly lower. 
just made me that much more determined to go to college because I wanted to prove him wrong and everyone else wrong too. Because he's not the only one that thinks like that. <laughs>